What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make $500 in a day gutter cleaning. I have a special guest with me today. Uh, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, this is Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements in Putnam, Connecticut. How are you guys doing? Happy to have you on, Mr. Joe. We've been, we've been trying to get this uh, going for a while here, so I'm glad we could uh, make some time and get it done. So first and foremost, can you kind of break down what gutter cleaning is and why it's important for anybody who doesn't really know? All right, so you know, gutter cleaning, uh, most homes, at least in New England, uh, have asphalt shingle roofs uh, with gutters on them. And, uh, you know, that's to direct the rainwater away from the foundation of your home. And uh, they get clogged with leaves. And when that happens, the water will back up under your shingles, back up into your soffits, and, uh, you know, ultimately wind up where you don't want it, causing damage to your home. Gutter cleaning is a very important component uh, to keeping your property maintained. And uh, most people are wanting to have that done at least twice a year. Excellent. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how often does it need to be done? So gutter cleaning is a service that we can offer on a recurring basis. So that's uh, good to know as well. So is it an upsell service or can it be a, a standalone as well? It can be both. You know, uh, we're primarily power washing. Uh, that's my business. And uh, I use it a lot as an upsell, you know, especially if I'm doing a roof wash or house wash and you see growth or issues happening. You know, you see trees growing out of the gutter. You want to try to upsell that gutter cleaning. Uh, you're doing a roof cleaning. You want to try to upsell that gutter cleaning um, so that everything's flowing correctly. All the debris is going to come down for you. Um, it is very much can very much be a standalone uh, process, though, for sure, because everybody needs it done. Uh, you need it done every year, whereas you may not need your home washed every single year. So uh, we're trying to connect it with power washing and offer like seasonal contracts for people. So we're, you know, cleaning their gutters in the spring washing their house in the summer and then clean their gutters again in the fall. So it's definitely a good add on and uh, can help you build, you know, more of a seasonal contract out of, out of your uh, services other than just power washing. I love that. Yeah. Anytime we can um, get a few more jobs, you know, out of a customer, then that's a good way to go. So gutter cleaning sounds awesome so far, man. So uh, do you market for gutter cleaning specifically, or is it mostly just like you're on the roof, you see the gutters are full. Hey, we noticed this. Yeah, I don't, mar I don't really market for gutter cleaning in the summertime. Uh, in the summertime, it's just definitely just an add-on for power washing. But when we get into the fall in New England, I do start running, you know, Facebook promotions, uh, ads in the paper for gutter cleaning. And I do get a lot of calls just to have gutters cleaned. Excellent. So how do we, how can we kind of price these jobs? I mean, obviously every house is different, but do you kind of have a way that, you know, we can go about pricing them? Yeah, so... You know, a lot of people are like, well, how do you price by the foot, this and that? I, I like to price more by risk factor, especially with gutter cleaning. You know, you got to be able to look at the project and say, is this something that I can get on the roof and clean with a leaf blower? Uh, is this something that I have to use ladders for? What kind of landscaping is involved and how many stories high is it? You know, so it's really hard for you to just price things and say X amount per foot because you may have a three-story gutter on a Victorian home with all these crazy angles. So my pricing goes really more by risk and difficulty than anything else. And uh, I find the best factor there to assess that risk is to have the clients text me pictures of their home front and rear. Um, and that's how I you know, will give my quotes typically is uh, get them to send me a couple of pictures of their home, look at it, you can assess it and say, okay, that's gonna be easy for me, I could walk that, or that's gonna be a lot of issues ladders, et cetera, and then price accordingly. And uh, you got to remember, you're the one taking the risk. You're the one on the ladder. You're the one on the roof. So don't be afraid to put up some numbers. You know, um, in business, every business, we're all solving somebody else's problem for them. So, you know, everything that you're paying someone to do is something you can't do yourself. So there's a reason they're calling you. They can't do it themselves. Uh, or it's too risky or nobody else wants to do it. So don't be afraid to put up a number that's going to make you happy uh, to be out there doing it, taking that risk. Absolutely. So with regards to you uh, asking the customers to send you pictures, do you ever have any problems with that? Because anytime I've ever asked any customers to send me pictures, they are the worst pictures I've ever seen. And usually I can't even, you know. Um, yeah, you know, well. some issues. I usually ask them to stand back far enough that they take a picture that encompasses the entire property, front and rear. And if it's not something I like, I just stay with them until they like it. It also uh, gets the customer engaged and you can kind of wean out who's committed and who's not. Uh, you know, if they're willing to spend a little bit of their own time and commit to sending you pictures, it's more likely a client you're going to get. Right. Absolutely. So instead of you sending over a blanket price or something, uh, we're getting them to, you know, jump through a little hoop. You know what I mean? Right. To see if they're 
if they're really serious buyer or not. So how right. many of these can we do in a day? I know the title says uh, we can make $500 in a day. How many would we need to do to make that happen? Uh, you know, that is, again, going to depend on the house and the pricing. But, uh, you know, it's not unusual to get $200 or more to clean gutters on a house. Um, some of your little ones, one level ranch type stuff, uh, you may be at 75 to to $100 to clean something like that. But it's not unusual to have a bigger home that's 275 or 300 to clean gutters. So you don't have to group too many of them together to make $500 in a day. Um, and if you've got a good process, you've got the ladders, uh, you're not afraid of heights, and you can move quickly, you've got the right tools, uh, we've, we've cleaned upwards of uh, 10 houses in a day uh, without a problem. So $500 a day in gutter cleaning is not that hard to do. Most, most men or women that are contractors or homeowners, typically you have almost all of the tools you need already to be doing gutter cleaning. Uh, you don't need a lot of tools. You know, you need a ladder, a bucket, a small gutter rake, leaf blower. It's not a lot of investment to get into gutter cleaning. Most people already have the majority of the tools they need just to add this service on. And that was going to be my next question was actually uh, any special tools that we need. Um, do you have any other tips or tricks on how we can knock out jobs fast or anything that you've learned uh, doing it as long as you have? I mean, you know, honestly, I try to walk as many roofs as I can. I have a nice high power leaf blower uh, that I put about a six foot extension on uh, with a flat nozzle on the end. So it really turbos the wind for me. Uh, and also that extension allows you to stand back five, six feet away from the gutter line. So you're not taking as much risk. Um, and if, if it's a if it's a roof that's walkable, I walk. And then you get down from the ladder and you use your leaf blower, move the debris away from the property, put it in the woods, whatever you have to do. That's definitely the fastest way to clean. Um, otherwise, you want to be using a ladder that has the stabilizers on it that put you up over the gutter line. So stabilizer on the roof itself. And then they make, if you Google uh, gutter tool, the first thing that's going to come up is this black uh, scoop looking tool with a little um, push bar on the end. And you can put that on an extension wand um, that you can telescope out. So you're not moving your ladder as much. And you can basically clean like a six foot either side wingspan. So you're only moving the ladder, you know, the least amount of times and pulling the debris out. Um, I also like to put a tarp on the ground and throw my debris onto the tarp. So I'm not filling up a bucket coming up and down the ladder constantly. So it speeds your process up a little bit. Absolutely. And um, I completely agree with the tarp. I used to do landscaping. And man, if you didn't have a tarp there to kind of catch some of that extra debris, you'd have to like hand pick it up or you know, rake it yeah. and yeah. You're, you're, you're double working essentially. So yep. I completely agree with the tarp. Well, uh, Mr. Joe, you shared, you shared some great insights on uh, gutter cleaning. Anything else we want to mention with regards to gutter cleaning uh, for the video? I would say, you know, if you're just getting into it, um, you know, don't have your priority be how many can I do in a day, you know, move slowly, move deliberately, move safely. Um, don't try to rush through it. Uh, it is a risky process and, um, I don't know, just be safe out there and uh, mindful of what you're doing. And there's plenty of gutter, plenty of gutter cleaning to do. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So every guest that comes on to the channel has to pick the word of the day. Uh, what would you like the word of the day to be? What is the word of the day? Uh, was, how about deliberate? Deliberate. That's hey. some people might have some trouble spelling that, but I guess we're going to, this would be a good test. So if you guys made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below deliberate and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. I will have Mr. Joe's channel linked in the comment section and the description. Be sure to go check him out uh, and subscribe to his channel. But until next time, Hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace. Hey, man. Thank you.